Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brian. And I'm Kylie. Welcome back to Amazing Animals. Uh, Hurricane Ian is real. Um, it is Tuesday. Uh, he is uh, just passing Cuba right now. Um, expected to go up to a Category 4 storm. Um, and unfortunately, the pathway is going more and more east, which basically takes it right north of us, which puts us on the bad side of the storm. Um, so we are in full-blown hurricane prep mode right now now and Kylie's struggling she just had <laughs> surgery the other day yeah I had a little skin cancer taken off my face wear, your sunscreen. wear sunscreen mm -hmm. I have Irish, and hats I have Irish skin uh, so I'm just in for it anyway but it's uh, healing nicely that's why I have bandages on my face the animals didn't do it um, yeah everyone gives saying like, what animal attacked you it's skin cancer um, <laughs> the sun did <laughs> but yeah we are busy busy uh, we are expecting to potentially lose power we are expecting some flooding uh, and we are going to bring every single animal into the house besides the barnyard um, so we're gonna show you some prep here Full we go blown hurricane prep we're gonna doing it All right, so we've got a lot of buckets filled with water here. Unfortunately, when we lose power, we're also gonna lose our water. We're on a well, and without electricity, we won't have running water. Um, it's something that we are preparing for. We have a ton of buckets filled with water, water bowls for the animals to get fresh water, and we've got these great big, the lights, there you go, the lights catching up to us. We've got these great big ones here filled with fresh water for the animals. Should last us around five or six days. Um, we're hoping that the power doesn't go out. Um, that is best case scenario. More than likely, we're going to lose power and um, we're going to lose water. So we've got about five or six days worth of fresh water for the animals. And uh, we got plenty of bottled water for Kylie and I and any of our keepers to stay hydrated. So whenever we get really big storms come through, um, historically the property is going to uh, flood. Uh, we are going to have water coming from the neighbor's side on that side, and it's going to flood to the neighbor on this side. The pond, uh, thank goodness, is a couple feet down because we've had a super dry summer so far. But um, we're expecting the pond to be full, 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 and about six to eight inches of water running through here through these habitats over here. Um, we have trees around the entire property, so we're not gonna take any risks. Uh, the exhibits are all made out of wood, and they are, um, you know, seven, eight years old. Um, wood doesn't last that long in Florida. Uh, a big tree comes down, a nice big gust of wind, um, potentially uh, could cause some damage to our exhibits, and we are not gonna uh, lose any of our animals because of that so they're all coming in um, praying that the fence stays up um, nothing comes down and hits any of our fence lines um, for our perimeter fencing and that's first and then second most important is making sure that our structures uh, don't come down so as soon as the storm's over we can get the animals back into their exhibits and they can get out of the little crates that they're going to be in for the next couple nights all right, so one thing that's really important that we are always working on here is crate training our animals, and this is exactly why. So Friday, uh, we noticed the hurricane might be hitting us. I started putting crates out with all of the animals. They've all been getting uh, their diet and extra treats in their crates, so we're making it really, really comfortable. Uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna have a handful of awesome volunteers that are always here for us. Uh, come in the morning, uh, we're gonna be crating all the animals and moving them into the house. But because they're so used to it, we make crates such a positive experience for them. The animals should be really comfortable, hopefully, of just relaxing. Uh, they're probably going to have to be in their crates Wednesday and Thursday. This uh, hurricane is moving pretty slow. It's bringing a lot of the rain. We're going to be getting some wind. Uh, like Brian said, uh, our biggest concern is trees knocking down anything. Obviously, we don't want an exhibit to get uh, hurt or uh, broken and an animal to escape during a hurricane. So we want to be extra cautious. Hopefully everything will be fine. All the exhibits will be fine. Once uh, it's in the clear, we'll do a check on all of the exhibits make sure they're good to go. And we'll be able to get the animals right back out. But we got all the crates ready. Tomorrow morning they are getting crated and uh, riding out the storm with us. 
So we have about 50 crates ready to go. We have fresh water ready to go for the animals. Um, and the biggest animals that we have on property is our barn. And I'm very thankful that we built our new barn because it can actually withstand um, up to like a category three hurricane. And it's gonna be a nice safe place, a nice safe structure for the barnyard animals to go in. All right, so our nice big beautiful barn is gonna be great for the animals to hang out in. During the storm, they should be really, really safe in there. The goats really don't like getting wet at all, so whenever we have any kind of rain, they always stay in there. Um, now, I'm not gonna lock them in the stalls. I'm gonna let them have access, you know, uh, just in case they feel more comfortable going in one area versus the other. They're not gonna be confined, but I'm sure they are all gonna snuggle up in these stalls. We have three empty stalls that will have the doors uh, latched open so that they have access to three stalls for all of the animals. And then we do have our hay, which should be nice and dry so that they can have nice fresh hay. Uh, even in the storm, we can actually give them the hay right in their stalls so they don't even have to come out for breakfast. Um, and we're still gonna come out and feed them each day and obviously be out here throughout the storm, checking on them, making sure everyone's good to go. Uh, but they should be great and that barn should do a great job keeping them all safe. So being in Florida, uh, hurricanes are a risk to hit um, every single year. The great thing about hurricanes are though, we have a whole week to plan for them. And that's the biggest thing. If you have a nice strong plan, you have people in place and you have the supplies on hand that you need and you don't wait till the last minute. We have gas, we have generators, we have water, we have crates. The animals are comfortable in their crates. We're gonna ha make sure we have about a week's worth of animal food, a week's worth of water for them. So we're prepared as best as we can be to make sure the animals are happy and healthy. They are our number one concern. So, um, you know, tornadoes, we're worried about tornadoes. Uh, they can actually pop up on the bad side of the storm that we're gonna be on. And that's really why we're bringing them all into the house because the likelihood of tornadoes is so much more. When it gets super, super, super rainy and the water and the ground gets really, really, really soft and there's just constant wind for six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 hours, that's when you have these great big oak trees take a tumble. We don't want them to land at any of our exhibits. The sloths, however, are going to stay in their brand new house because it is rated for a hurricane. If a tree landed on that puppy, not much damage is going to happen. So we are going to leave the sloths in their house. Let's check on them and see how they're doing. All right. So Lily has been sleeping in here all day. We do have Luna and Lorenzo. They're still outside. Uh, once I feed them dinner, they should both come inside. We'll be able to close the window. And then Lima, I'm gonna grab here in a little bit. He's gonna go on the other side. Uh, we also have our armadillos that we're putting in here. This building, we do have a uh, hurricane tie down. So this is secured to the ground really nicely. It's not gonna blow over. Uh, there's not many trees around this building. So they should really be great. And actually this is really close to our house. So we'll be able to keep a really good eye out here as well. Make sure it's all looking good. And uh, I think the sloths are gonna sleep right through the storm. So we are ready, we think, to the best of our ability. Um, unfortunately, we don't know what's coming. The storm could come and be a lot closer and be a lot stronger. It could sit on us, which would be probably the worst case scenario for us. Um, or it could bounce to the west and totally leave us alone. But um, we've got people, we've got supplies. We're ready, I think. Yeah, we're pretty prepared. I'm not that stressed. It's just a lot to do. It's a lot. It's to, stressful. You know, to have the animals inside for a couple of days with us obviously is not ideal, but it's going to be the safest thing for everybody. Yep. Um, I got a bunch of laundry I'm doing. That's another thing I want to give, you know, nice clean blankets to all the animals while they're in their crates snuggled up. So I've been doing a ton of animal laundry. Um, just so many little things that you start, you know, realizing. Yeah, we pulled on. out the crates from the shed and some rats chewed to it. So it's just things that like, you think you know everything you got going on and then you like pull some stuff out and it's not clean, it's not usable. So we had to throw away some crates. So uh, please check out our Amazon wish list. Uh, we are doing an extraordinary a lot amount of laundry right <laughs> yeah. now because of all the rain that we're getting and yeah. we're gonna get, the animals are getting new blankets daily and um, yeah, all I, the crates will have blankets in them and I they're gonna get poopy. I have some blankets on our wish list. I'm gonna have to add some laundry detergent because yeah. it's real lot. So that definitely makes a big difference for and us. And the worst part of the storm is actually after the storm because we could go four or five days without power mm -hmm. and that's going to make the house really hot it's going to be we're not going to be able to do laundry we're not going to have running water mm -hmm. for four or five days after the storm we have cleared our schedules uh, we don't have anything um, Wednesday Thursday Friday booked so we're totally um, here for the animals no tours no shows Wednesday Thursday Friday 
but um, it's really the suckiest part is after the storm when we don't have power. Hopefully it's only a day or two, but it could be five or six days. Mm -hmm. That's when it's absolutely the worst. Thank you for the love. Yes. Thank you for the support. Uh, we need your prayers. We need your thoughts because we're going to get through this. It's just going to be a lot. Yeah, and thank you guys for anyone who's already checking in on us. We will try to keep you guys updated as much as we can. We might lose internet. We might lose power. Uh, I didn't have cell phone service for Irma like a, a day or so. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. As always, go out there, do, do something, something amazing. amazing.